Hello everyone, my name is John, aka Maroka, and welcome to Spiral Knights. I'm going to head down and then I'll explain what I'm doing with this video. It's looking and going. First up, uh, what is Spiral Knights? Spiral Knights is a top-down dungeon crawling MMO type thing with a fantastic art style and I really love it. I've been playing it since since before it launched on Steam for a little while. So I've been at it some time now. I've been out about a year and a half. I've been at it since launch, so yeah. So I'm pretty well geared up. And we're right in the middle of Halloween event, and it is Halloween today. So I'm gonna put on my Halloween gear. There we go. I'm all pumpkin colored. Right, what I want you to do here today is not so much demonstrate the game. Um, you might get a bit of that just by watching in the background. My main purpose here is to talk. That's my thing. I might explain about the game at later date, but what I'm wanting to create here is a kind of vlog. I'm rather partial to the sort of the vlog format of Let's Play videos. Uh, I enjoy the Turtle Biscuits ones, and Kurt J. Max, another one I particularly enjoy. Just sort of gaming as a backdrop to talking. Uh, if they've got a big enough following, I presume there's a, certainly a market for it. So, why don't I have a go? Here's the thought process there. I might not be any good at it, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh, moreover, I've been wanting to use Spiral Knights as, a, a, as content for a video of some sort for some time now. I haven't been particularly inspired to do anything massively creative with it. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic game, but it just doesn't lend itself quite to creativity in the same way that something like Minecraft might. So it's just going to be visuals, really, in this case. Uh, and what I'm wanting to talk about today is... I've uh, been this way. Uh, is my experience with making Let's Plays. What I've been doing for the last two and a half months now at this stage. It's been an interesting, fun learning process. Not something I've ever particularly done before. I've not worked with video. Uh, I've been very, My university degree did call upon me to do it and I always delegated to other people who knew more about it than me. Hey, can you edit this video for me? I don't know how to edit. So I've been learning how to edit. That's been good. Uh, so far... So far, yeah, uh, there's... I feel like I've learned a lot in a short space of time. If you compare, say, the quality of the first video I did, the Mistcraft stuff, to the latest ones, uh, there's a dramatic improvement. The Mistcraft stuff, I didn't even know how to render particularly well. The settings were abysmal and they all came out looking rough as hell. So a lot of experimentation later, by about seven episode seven or eight I'd finally got some settings I liked. So everything looks reasonably pretty now. Uh, it's no ten eighty but I don't have the internet speed to upload ten eighty in any kind of reasonable time frame, so that's not coming yet. next big hurdle I had to overcome would have been audio. Uh, those early videos, never mind early videos, videos right up until about halfway through the Vex Super Hostile stuff. Uh, all the audio was recorded in Fraps, and Fraps doesn't much like working... It doesn't work well with game audio and it ends up massively out of sync every single time. And it's a bloody pain in the ass to edit, and it's always, it always feels like a bit of a botched job, really. So that's when I kind of realised I had to record separately. It's considerably more work to actually produce the finished video, but it's worth it for the improvement in quality at the end. Uh, the Octodad stuff that was that was plagued by the audio issues as well. And I got retweeted by. Um, Phil Tibitoski, I don't know if I've got his name right there, uh, the guy who made the game, which was really cool, but you know, the game didn't get a good reception simply because my video was absolutely god awful. 
which is a tremendous shame, really. So, I've I've learned from my mistakes. By the time Octodad's the dadliest catch releases next year, I'll know what I'm doing. Uh, sunburn stuff. Yeah, aside from learning to work with audio and that. I've also learned the importance of a soundtrack in a video. And it's one of those things I've never really given a second thought to. The sort of thing that you get in a video, you get in films, you get in TV, you get in what have you, everything has a soundtrack these days. Everything is these days, everything has always had a soundtrack. But it's not something as a lay person I've ever given a great deal of thought to. It's just like, yeah, it's a soundtrack, that's what shows have. You know? Uh, but working with video first hand, all of a sudden I'm kind of, I've got this new appreciation for what a soundtrack can actually add to a video. Suddenly, oh, the happy scene's a bit more upbeat if I had a catchy jingle to it. Or gloomy cave scene a bit better. And I've got some really fast paced music for fight scenes which works well. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, heal up, heal up, heal up. These phantoms are annoying. For those who don't know, those things respawn infinitely after a period of time. For the non spell Knights players amongst my viewers, they appear on graveyard levels and they keep coming back. I don't know what the respawn timer is, isn't it? Two, three minutes or something. So you can kill it for a little while. But yeah, back to soundtracks. Uh, yeah, suddenly I can add a great deal more atmosphere to a scene than just me talking has. Um, until I actually saw that firsthand, it was not something I could really appreciate. Another thing I've picked up on is that every single video under the sun made on zero budget, that is to say Let's Plays, uses Kevin MacLeod's music. Myself included at this stage. I should offer my thanks to him because he provides a fantastic service for people like me in that he pro he's got a massive library of music which he provides completely free of charge asking only that you credit him in your work. So thank you Kevin for that. You are the saviour of zero budget projects everywhere. Uh, my main theme came from another equally awesome source. It is OC Remix. The song I've chosen for Maruka's theme, as it were, is Pirate Shout by Audio Fidelity, which is available uh, linked pretty much in every every one of my videos for free to download from OC Remix. And if you haven't checked out OC Remix's work, it's thousands and thousands of video game remix music tracks, and they're great. Go check them out. Just do it. Best other resource I've actually found lately for not merely music, but projects of other sorts is Wikimedia, which is say most of the media that's hosted on sites like Wikipedia. I uh, found music, which will make an appearance later on in Sunburn. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Maybe, no. I'm not going to spoil anything. But I've got something cool planned for the final video. And other things. Yeah, I've, I've found some pictures that have gone bloody useful lately as well on there. And it's all been released public domain by the content creators. So that's wonderful. So, thank you to everybody who uses a creative content license or generally releases their content to the public domain for free. You're all fantastic people. I love you all. While we're on soundtracks, uh, Minecraft, I've started editing... I've obviously started editing out the main game's music because it appears at random intervals and doesn't really add atmosphere to what I'm doing. Whereas I can have my own soundtrack, it sounds much better. Uh, Spiral Knights, obviously I'm not really going to do anything interesting with this scene. 
there's nothing particularly exciting to highlight with my own music, and the game comes with an amazing soundtrack of its own. So I thought I'd share that with you. The soundtrack is by one Harry Mack, and the soundtrack is available on Amazon and iTunes, etc, 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 and it's really, really cool. I didn't get you see. I didn't get to show you the Halloween fight. I was hoping I might there. Uh, what this room is is sort of a 50/50 chance of a mini boss fight or free stuff. Today I got free stuff. I won't complain about that on a personal level, but from a video perspective, it would be cool to show you the fight. You know, never mind. I would very much like to talk about Spy Lights more because it's a fantastic game. It's one of my favourites. But that'll wait for a later date. Uh, for now, I just wanted to talk about video making and let's playing in general. And I've uh, pretty much exhausted that topic. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, we'll see you later.